Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. In our own minds yet. He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. <laughs> seems he was guarding that way outside. looks familiar, but different, like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. Please, fate should know I will not be deterred. <sighs> Oh, my God. 
know it all and I cannot change. <laughs> See? You forgot smartest man alive. Certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mamir. Hmm. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Aim for the runic core! Bloody hell, look at that thing! Uh. It's horrible when it uh. glows! Uh. Nicely done! Keep on it! Uh. 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 Another gift of Fimble Winter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. Yeah. 
this way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. That itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? <laughs> terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. <gasps> hey, how very dare you! Babbling! official. Imagine them thinking I had any desire to be back. Secret? Brother, hold off. Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did. I tried to stop him any way I could. Just lie! You served Odin from the day you met him to the day he put you in that tree. You sought his favor. You plotted his war. You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you left day by day until you turned on! I know, Secret. It's true. All of it. 
but for love of you, I became a better man. A counselor of peace, an ally to all wars. Were you an ally to Freya in her suffering? To God, to Krola, or to Tanya? No, you! Oh, who took the side of the powerful men? You! Brother, watch out! There's more of them! Evil man! You see a violent god in me, and you can't help but hate him and call him brother! It's who you call me! It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother the Fiend, it's pulling me in. Mumir! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus, I am coming! No! Why didn't you trust your own son? Go away, take me! Atreus! the test didn't feel much like succeeding i see the door has disappeared or it was never there they toy with us still what is that a kelpie don't see many of those in these parts she must be theirs will she take us to them i'll ask her nicely easy girl easy that's right. Good. You have to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> Away. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. Finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son. son. <laughs> you 
know the child is an Asgard? No, you seek what all who search for us seek, to know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but you called him the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a way, a way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! up! <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard. And you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are yeah, leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. Things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... ...will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Lemire. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size.
Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. <laughs> Kratos, I see something. <laughs> Up there. Get out of here. Look, I think we're missing the known's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya... I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. And we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. Let us find a gateway, return home, consider our plans. Listen, brother, before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. Hmm. Always a joy to work on these. Got time to chat? Norns have any good news for you? No. Ah. Maybe buying something expensive will take your mind off it?
No, it's fine. I don't mind you standing around like that. Best piece yet today. A good fit. Everything all right? If I don't have it, you don't need it. Want something in particular? Anything for Freya? Kratos? May it strike true. Anything more to discuss? Let's see. Whoa. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear, what's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Nithog has been slain, and as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. 
I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. But putting all that aside for the moment, is there anything else? They're back. They're back. Simmer down, I see them. I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow, okay, Heimdall. Let's see, never loses, sees everything coming, unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need him, our supplies. Oh, we got plenty, and to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a, oh, you mean we combine it with? That's right. And then when he, it'll go. Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but. Go fetch Dropnir. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will it help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him. not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit the lady. Oh. Oh. Whew. That's a relief. <laughs> huh? Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady? No idea what he's on about, brother.
See you out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you have to. heard him. Quit your friend. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp. Shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. What was all that then? Oh, just Sentry trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in need of a lear been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for. On account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. Keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in place. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. Classic ace here. Oh, all right. Might have earned that one. Oh, 
Well, I can see why it's an abandoned service tunnel. Careful, brother. That looks flammable. Alka! Another oil spill. Whoa. Ah, a fortuitous oil spill. Is that you? Yes. I need to talk to Kratos. Please listen. You have to let me take his <gasps> place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh, dear. <sighs> it's not his fault Atreus ran off, you know. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating, and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? 
The giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. Kratos, I see something. seem to be connected. See if you can break that far fixture. The sigil arrows should work with ice as well. It's open. A sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. <laughs> ah, you've seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother? That word, shall we? This opinion of yours, was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. 
or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places can take you. Sigil arrows won't work on this. They got the third one hidden away. until we stun them. before it poisons us all. Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, say. Nothing in the world.
There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. But you need to ask. She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite <laughs> enough of it, Highness. We're all mi- You're right. It's not for me to say. for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. Hmm. 
Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Harryar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Bulky! You know that ain't the way to the board. Well, you sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Lucid enough when it's time to steal my kitchen. <laughs> Used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. You see what's wrong here? us. Okay, looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. You look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift. Notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Grot than they were to see you. They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it. <laughs> well, that got the gate open. But you kind of need to be up here to do it, you dig?
Turn it. Copy that. He is dead. Turn it again. Once more. Aye, aye. There you go. Right on the money. Again. Get so Come on through and get those tables. up to the forge. Come on! The lady's waiting. Hey! Got another riddle for you. What gets bigger, the more you take away from it. Well, let's see. Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stone, stone. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam, bam. Think I'll grab some for the lady. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. How? Oh. Watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of a thing. Hmm. Hang on! I smell trouble. Hey! All an old pecker grip! My chance to meet her since I was knee high to a noken. But Sindri had never had it. Said I was too uncouth. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> Whoa! My bro, I've never seen you so reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, fuck you. Go on, pasty. Turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. Oh, fuck knuckles. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. 
Yeesh, if this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tail. Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I boom dropped. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. Gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn, and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand.
Galfi Vader almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might. Bless you for us. Are you, uh. Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion's cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. You know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a twirl. Look! We got volunteers! Oh, that's the stuff! Ain't your first time with the spear, I reckon! It is the first weapon of fought and learned. What hell? Ain't it just like old times here? Couldn't have put it more forebodingly myself. Yeah? 
guess we're doing this one boy style. Uh, listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. If the guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. Oh, lick my booty! There's eyeball nests all over! Get your throwing arm in gear! And coming! Above you! Good there! Get the dang nest! Behind you, brother! Better take out that net, or it'll be eyeball city out here. the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. Them eyeballs are taking over them ground. We better beat them out. You don't got what it takes. Left side, incoming. Next lesson, take note of that there watch of a hoose. Get a decent angle and fling a spear in <laughs> head on. Here you are. 
anything? You did not. Right. Uh, you can bring that back to Ratatosk right whenever you're ready. Got one last favor to ask of the both of you, and we can call it square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Oh, very well. These ugly birds. Maybe those grim will take you down.
Thank you, Brock. It is a good spear. Damn straight it is. Can I see how you'll be getting down from up here? Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end it horking and borking. Feels like there was something else. <laughs> oh, is that the way down? And I'll get those gates working for you! I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. everyone. Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard. Sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a... has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours is everything I expected. So clever. Kind. You sure he's yours? A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. 
I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. Got nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Good timing. Let's see what Doc made you. Careful, brother. They're covered in bifrost. Use a shield, So tell me then, what's the new weapon? A spear. One with the powers of Rotnia. Interesting. Well, come on. We can discuss it on the train. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you, aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war, THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. So this drop near spear, you're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. That gravestone. There's a keyhole that looks to fit the hilt you found. Wait. Be ready for combat. After the old Callus. For the king! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
brother. Oh, Ready, 
Have to feel the callus. For the king! <laughs>
Yeah! 
You see any more of these ghostly berserker tossers, give them the same. You'll be doing the Nine Realms a favor. Did these warriors wrong you at some point, Mimir? You're quite agitated, even for you. No need to rehash ancient history if it's all the same to you. Very well. you to get something for me. A hammer. A weapon? No. A forge hammer. Little thing. Symbol of the old resistance. Guild, solidarity, all that. Or it used to be anyway, till the Aesir buried it under that big gaudy dwarf statue in the bay. Might do the dwarves some good to see it again. You're not worried that might draw the Ain Haryar's attention? The old father nearly slit my throat just to get to you. I might be past giving a shit what he thinks. Just find me at the bar when you've got it. You'll certainly be able to reach new areas in the bay with that spear. Aye. Might be worth looking for Darlin's hammer while we're at it. Your choice, of course.
Now that you have a weapon to deal with Heimdall, we just need to find a way to get to him. Aye, if that's still the plan. It is. I will protect my son. So, then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True. Though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much... work. <sighs> Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. I am... tired. You're sure nothing unusual happened with the lady? Nothing at all? Nothing whatever. Smooth as snail shit, like I said. Why? There's some reason you expected it to flip sideways? What? No, no, of course not. I'm delighted to hear everything proceeded as planned. Well, they did. And it was a proper adventure to boot. I taught them all about the nature of the thing and the form of the thing. Become a whole monkey. You're making up words again. I said it was a motif, and it was beautiful. You are impossible. <laughs> I'm the most possible one around here. You make up your mind.
Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So we're just keeping blindly on then, hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan? Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? Do you enjoy the gentle waves, little one? Father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild woods. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. And it is safe and serene here. Game is plentiful. And you will want for nothing. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he's softened since then. 
something. Unfortunately for you, he remains dreadfully stoic. I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Or perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. Have you nothing to say to your son? Safe, eh? Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. He is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. <laughs> to think. The mighty god of war. Frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Ray. I fear for him. He is innocent. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son. What did that wall ever do to you? Um, building focus. Something my father taught me. <laughs> did it work? Not yet. So, what you focusing on anyway? Controlling my emotions. Heimdall keeps trying to make me lose my cool. Ugh! I can't give in to it. Three, hey. Thank you, cool. Training without me? <laughs> that a that a good idea? Training? I mean, I, I think it's a great idea, but uh, won't your mom be mad if she finds out? 
Good point. But did you consider? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't hurt. Also. Mm -hmm. Anyways, grandfather wants to see you. Oh, grandfather. Right. Okay. Uh, here, then take this, and uh, send my regards to Sif, Lady Sif, and uh, Treus. See you later, Thrude. Bye, Thrude. <laughs> Midgardian boys are so weird. Weird can be good. This is the two of you, I swear. What's in the jar? Milk curd, mom's favorite. It's his way of helping. Grandfather's in his study. Catch up later? Nicely equipped. That needs work. <laughs> huh. Out of here. Maybe Odin's down in this library. I just don't get it. The mask, bringing the giant that killed my sons here. Why? <laughs> I can explain it to you, but I can't understand it for you. Stop letting your wife think for you. She's clouding whatever's left of your brain. This isn't about her. No, it's about your limitations. Accept them and move on. Now go smash something, will you? Honestly, I liked you better as a drunk. Loki, come here. Finally figured it out. This is where you killed Amir, isn't it? The first giant. Tell me, can you murder a landslide, smother a storm? He was more a force of nature, a vessel of power. I was young, foolish, saw an opportunity to create something more. I know you think it's cruel, but I did what I had to to protect my own. Why build your house here? What's in there? I'm gonna trust shh, you. Shh, shh. I'm trying to tell you. In the wake of Amir's death, I saw something, the rift, possibly the birthplace of reality. I looked inside and something was there looking back at me. It whispered to me. Things I couldn't possibly comprehend, but I knew they were true. When it blinded me, I thought it was over that I'd never see inside again. And then I found this. And I knew that it would finally let me see the answers. You see, son, I don't know where I go when I go. There's no Valhalla for me. Ragnarok cannot be the end. I need to know there's something more than this. I need to know what happens to me. And that's the truth, I swear, on my last good eye. That's the truth. The writing on here talks about a cold breath. Breath. Wind. It's gotta be Helheim. Helheim, you say? I'll take it. And I know just the person to accompany you. I'm trusting you two can handle this responsibility. You can count on us. Oh, I uh, forgot to mention, 
Heimdall will be joining you. What a privilege. For all of us. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. You don't want to walk into the blistering cold of Helheim without this. Every Lau should keep you nice and toasty. You're welcome. Ah. The mere said even Odin couldn't survive the cold in Helheim. You believe everything that old goat says? Through. Too bad your first time outside Asgard has to be to Helheim. Nah, we're gonna make the most of this. <sighs> now, as much as I would love to babysit, I have something else to do for the Allfather. If you run into any trouble, just scream so I know where to find your bodies. Let's find that mask piece. Finally, I can test my skills alongside the real Valkyrie expert. First off, Hellwalkers are nothing compared to Valkyries. Second, I thought you didn't believe me. Hellwalkers, here's your chance. the Valkyries. I just don't believe it was Grandfather who corrupted them, or that he caused the desolation in Midgard, or that he had all the giants killed. Am I missing anything? Uh, lots, actually. crimes as my grandfather committed. Let's see. He decimated Vanaheim, tortured Tyr, murdered Groa, murdered Amir. It goes on and on. Interesting. And where'd you hear all this? Freya and Mimir told me. Oh, so his traitor, his ex-wife, and a bitter former advisor. Got it. Look, you don't believe me, but... No, I don't. Either you're full of crap or you're a hypocrite for helping him. Can we just focus on the mission? This is where the mask said to go? Let's double back. We'll find a way around. See? More Hellwalkers! That means we're headed the right way! Oh, my God. 
I got There's this. A... Uh huh. Sure you do. Hey, we're okay, right? I guess. Maybe our families are just meant to be enemies. Well, not us. I don't believe that. Maybe we can use the big crate. What I do believe is that you'll make a great Valkyrie. I'll tell your mom the same thing. Even if she scares the life out of me. That means a lot. Thanks. Now, we have a masterpiece to find. No way through up here either. Now what? I'm not sure. But my gut's telling me what we need is here. Get off of it fell through the floor! Could be our way up. Let's head back down and find out. Now we go right. Ways block too. There has to be another way. Keep your eyes. What's the mask say? So the mask's pull is a little weird with all these buildings in the way, but I think we're going the right way. You think? Sure. Are you messing with me? I need this to go well. I need my family to see what I can do. I know. We both do. <sighs> Mask? Uh, looks like it's through here. Let me get that for you. Fighting. 
kidding me? See any in there? Stop! There. Nice. Whatever you shot crashed through the floor again. Let's head back and check it out. So, I talk about my mom a lot. What's your dad like? He's intense. Like he's trying to force me into this mold. But I'm not sure that's me. Oof. Well, I know exactly what that's like. The thing is, I don't know what I want. I love that you do. You'll figure Whoa! it out. Mask showed it was straight ahead earlier. But of course, the way's blocked. Maybe they're trying to keep people out. Or something in. I bet there's another way around. There always is. Soundstone. You know what to do. Sweet. So, how'd you know you wanted to be a Valkyrie? I didn't always. After a bad fight with Mom, I snuck out and found them training. Somehow, every movement they made had such purpose, like they knew exactly where they needed to be. And in that moment, so did I. Uh, looks like it's through here. So training gave me... <sighs> Too heavy? Shut up. Something's blocking it. I'll take a look. But I want to hear the rest. Deal. <sighs> Too heavy. Uh, have you seen these arms? Let's see. <sighs> Not bad. I know. As I was saying... Seeing the Valkyries fight, all the strength and style, no apologies. It gave me clarity. For the first time I saw my path forward, clear as day. Too bad giants have to follow prophecy. Who cares? Make your own path, just like we've been doing here. Step aside, little man. <sighs> this one's stuck too, but I feel it weakening. Maybe 
I should just shut up and concentrate. Sure looks like it. Bring it on! Stop up! Yeah. Where to now? I wish we could get past that stupid crate. Looks like it's through here. But it's blocked. What if I move this? Aha! Uh -huh. Can you get up there? See if you can find a way to cut the crate down on the other side. I'll wait here. I don't have a fancy way up like you do. Got it. Ingrid, was I too rude about her grandfather? She should know the truth, right? Yeah, guess so. Hey, you talking to me? Uh, no, just talking to Ingrid. Okay. I get a better view of that crate. You did it! Better get back. Bow! Hey, what's going on out there? You okay? I got it! That is what, Loki. Mess them up! Get up! Hey, It's open. Let's go. Whoa, the mask is freaking out. We must be close. <laughs> Who's that? Don't look at me. You're the one who's been here before. It's probably nothing. Doesn't sound like nothing. So close. Besides, I don't think it's dangerous. Are we looking at the same thing? 
Maybe he's locked up for a good reason. I can feel what he's feeling. It's a giant thing. Look, he just wants to be free. The peace must be behind him. Trust me. All right, let's start with the lock not near its teeth. There was another one under his foot. Look out! You're welcome, mangy mutt. Let's look in the chamber he was guarding. A dead end? Please tell me it's down in the water or something. There's... how? It's not responding anymore. This has never happened. But you said trust you. And we let that thing loose. Grandfather's gonna kill me. We gotta get out of here. Come on. Through. Wait up. Maybe we missed it. Maybe it's back here somewhere. Through. Through. It's... it's gonna be okay. How can you say that? I shouldn't have listened to you. Look, if I made a mistake, I'll fix it. I can find the piece. There's holes between realms, right? <laughs> well, I suppose I should expect nothing less from half-breeds. Don't call me a half-breed. <clears throat> I will call you whatever I like, Junior. Leave him alone. It was a mistake. No! The mistake was allowing you to think that you were ready. You helped him, didn't you? What side are you on anyway, Guppy? Try me and find out. Oh. <laughs> and what are you going to do exactly? <sighs> you see, Everyone takes it easy on you, because they are afraid of your father. I am not. That fat, drunken, utter piece of trash! Hey! Again! Yes, yes, the dumb does not fall far from the tree. Very well, then. Give me your best shot. have a lot to learn, little girl, starting with who your family is and who it is not. Just wait until I'm a Valkyrie. <laughs> oh. You really believe the Allfather would allow that to happen? <sighs> Please. Do not let this little weasel feed your delusions any longer. Enough! So close. Stop! He just wants to make you mad. Yeah? Well, it worked. Uh, well, uh, you toddlers are boring. If you are finished throwing your little tantrum, we should go now. 
because I cannot wait to watch you explain this mess to the Alba. Oh, it's going to be glorious. Boogan! He's not here. Let's check his study. Oh, boy, is he going to lose it. Father will have my back. After the Allfather sent him away, sulking with his tail between his legs? Doubtful. And you, Loki of the Jotnar. I am haunted by your incompetence. It keeps me up at night. Whatever. <laughs> no, I, seriously, I, I find the hues and shades of your shortcomings almost moving if we could only somehow harness your uselessness we could fuel this entire city fine it's all on me just leave her out of it i don't need your help loki sorry save it for the all father we have a lot to discuss loki i'll meet you in your room when i'm finished here shouldn't be long Okay. My mission went quite well, All Father. Secured the item you discussed. Thanks a lot. Throod, I. I don't want to hear it. Everything was fine until you showed up. I'll make it up to you, I swear. <clears throat> I really messed up. Times like this, I really miss home. Ingrid, did you have a home before you came here? Someone who took care of you? That sounds like a yes. Maybe I could help you find them without, you know, screwing it up. Sound like a plan? May I come in? I heard what Heimdall had to say. I'd like to hear it from you. What happened? It wasn't there. I was wrong. Well, we all make mistakes, son. But freeing Garm. That was a big one. Chaos is already spilling out into the other realms. We're safe here in Asgard. But everywhere else... I think I want to go home now. Okay. If that's what you want. I meant it when I said you're not a prisoner here. It's your choice. Go, clear your mind. I know you'll be back. But before you go, I'll need the mask back. It's not that I don't trust you, you understand. It's the company you keep. Oh, and Ingrid? Please, I need to go. Loki, when you do decide you're ready to continue our work here, Hugen will be waiting for you in your old home. You screwed up. Doesn't change the fact that you're welcome here. Oh, and say hi to Mimir for me. Never thought I'd be so relieved to be back here. If you're staying, you might be waiting a while. Of course. Ah! 
Better use the Mystic Gateway quick. Odin was right. Freeing Garm. How did I screw up so badly? Okay. Guess it's time to face him. No running away this time. Almost home. It's gonna be fine. Everything's fine. No, no, no! It's you! Wait, it's you! Protect yourself! Tears! Nice time! Kill you! Where are you? Atreus, watch out! Where's Father? Trying to find a way to you! Do you mind? We're being attacked right now! This won't stop until I close that bell tear. Atreus, help keep them off me. No thanks to you. Where is Atreus? Atreus? Has the runaway returned and brought all this with him? God, just hold still. I told you I'm fine. Ooh, you're bleeding. Quit your blubbering.
has happened. It's all my fault. The Hellwalkers, they're everywhere. Everywhere. That is not your fault. Yes, it is. There was a wolf in hell. He was in chains and... And I set him free. I, I thought that if... Garm! Great bleeding fuck lad, you freed Garm! Garm? Who freed Garm? That's madness. Surely not you, young one. If the Hound of Hell is loose, he'll chew through the fabric of the realms. Hellwalkers are just the beginning. What were you thinking? Aye, this is a fuck-up of not insignificant proportions. What would drive you to such mischief? Is this Loki's doing? Enough. Leave him. Atreus has made a mistake. One that we will fix together. Grand. Now, if you don't mind, I'd rather stay here. I've had my fill of visits to Helheim. <sighs> One problem. Excuse I'm not sure I have a way back to Helheim. Perhaps the squirrel does. I need to speak with you at once. At once, I say. This is of the utmost urgency. Gentlemen, I apologize for my brusque tone, but whatever has lately transpired in Helheim is completely unacceptable. I must insist you remedy the situation without further delay. I implore you, return to Helheim post-haste and undo whatever it is you've done. Well, as little further delay as possible, then. Sindri, you okay? What happened to your head? Are you kidding? You did this. I did? Yes, with your uh, bear claws. I, I didn't know. Hey, don't you two start up again. Can't you see my head pounding? I'll make good use of it. What'll it be? Whatever you need, I'll create. And Atreus? What do you need? And do try not to fuck up! Aren't you gonna, you know, reprimand me? No. I am relieved. You are safe. Okay. Wow. Maybe I should run away more often. Atreus. Kidding. Sorry. So where'd the new spear come from? Brock made it. From Dropnir. What's that? A... ring. But what's its story? I do not know. You were not there to ask. Dangerous. I know.
Did Odin ask you to free that creature? What? No. Why? Why are you not working with him? It's not what you think. Whatever he promised, he cannot be trusted. I don't. But he has something I need. It's hard to explain. Ice is in the way. I will handle it. Explain why. I just need you to trust me. I know I have no right to act. But can you anyway? What does he have that you need? Why can you not tell me? It's complicated. What about you? Why do you have a new weapon? I thought you didn't want war. I do not. But it's complicated? Everyone keeps secrets. Sometimes it's the only way to protect the ones we love. And don't worry about Odin. I'm not going back there. That is good to hear. Around tear. Arm's been busy. I think I understand how to pray a close one. Keep the enemies away if you can. I can. Let me know when you're ready. Bet if we follow those Hellwalkers up there, we find Garm. That's a Tifa. That's a Tifa. That's a Tifa. Oh! 
Good to hear, too. Tell me, what were you doing in Asgard? I was translating things for Odin. There's this mask he found in the master of that's connected to it. Some well, sort of... Complicated. Yeah. But I met people my age there. Made friends. I think we're still friends. You cannot trust those loyal to Odin. It's not always bad to trust people. It compromises your judgment. Maybe. But I'm tired of feeling alone. Atreus, I... Let's just figure out how this gate works. Okay? when the gate is up. Money where? probably fit. But we need a better angle. Okay. 
doesn't want Ragnarok. I, I know I can't trust him, but I needed his help. I can't let Ragnarok happen either. I would have helped you. No, but... Wait, he's right here! Okay, okay! It, it's okay, boy! It's all right. Just calm. Calm. We, we just want to... Come on, you can speak through here. 
If Odin truly wishes to avoid Ragnarok, then we are in agreement. Yeah? Then what's that spear for? To protect you. Do you have other weapons for that? What are these guys doing here? They are dead! Oh, yeah. Fair point. <laughs> Fighting these guys when they're alive. You're not preparing for Ragnarok. And seriously, why the spear? I shared. It's your turn. We are not the same. I am the parent. You're ducking the touch. I think my arrows will stick to the wood up there. Close. Promise me you won't kill him, okay? I make no promises, but I will try not to kill the beast. Huh? <laughs> 
What is your plan? I'm sort of making it up as I go. But you're not talking about Varn. You cannot outsmart Odin. It's worked so far. Has it? Now what? I'm gonna try to tame it. Tame it? Sure. I've tamed wolves before. I'll distract Garm. You freeze his chains with your axe so we can't run and latch him onto something. No, too dangerous. It's a good plan. Let's move. Wait. Transformation. Did Odin teach you to control it? No. We will not rely on what he taught you. Next time, we do it my way. Yes, sir. I think of that. The solution is not always obvious. Watch out! 
wish it didn't have to end that way. It's my fault he got loose. That he's dead. Sometimes there is no other way. I know. to carry the frost to the gear. Asgard. Heimdall? The Norns? I thought you didn't believe me. Oh, <laughs> 
flooding the realm. The realms will collapse. You must learn to calm your mind. Maybe I've learned I run better on chaos. What else did you learn? We work better when we trust each other. You hear that? Where is he? <gasps> We gotta find him. Come on. Well, I guess he came this way. Let's find another way up. What did you do? At the house. The spell you saw me do in Fenrir died. I didn't know it then. But I accidentally put his soul into my knife. Souls are powerful, so I thought maybe Fenrir's could... Change its nature. Yeah. Let's see if it took. When I found you in Midgard, before Freya attacked, you said you needed to protect me. Why? I saw a prophecy. You were... in my arms. Dead. I saw it too. In Jotunheim. What? 
You knew? That's why you've been training me so hard. One day, you will have to survive without me. Not gonna happen. I won't let it. I won't. All journeys come to an end. Not ours. Not like that. It's over now. I promise. Fen? Are you? I missed you too. Didn't know if that would work. We did it! Sit. How is this possible? It's giant magic. I've been learning things. In Asgard. This has nothing to do with that. More secrets? No. A promise. We let someone's trusting me to keep. Like you kept your promise to Mom? See what I can do when you trust me? I guess it's so bossy. You can't trust the fates. Why do you care what they say? When it comes to your life, I can take no chances. Welcome. 
open. Maybe we can use the sigils to freeze the gear up there. Been in the first place. She is not wrong. What's wrong? I have been falling back into my old ways. Angry. Distrustful. With you. Now and before. Without you, I got reckless, overconfident, made stupid mistakes. I don't know why I thought I could do this alone. You were right. No. On our journey together, you have grown into a warrior, worthy of your namesake. I was the one who was not ready. You don't have to be who you were just because I'm not there. Let's make a promise. I'll listen for your voice in my head when you're not there to guide me. And you do the same. All right? I need to know you'll be okay without me. I 
I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, Father. Be better. Let's go home. Nothing is written that can't be unwritten. Remember? We shouldn't let prophecy define our choices. Then we will make our own destiny. Did you want to take care of anything before going back to Sindri's? No. First, we retrieve Mimir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. And what about Freya? Seems like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh, before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. Ah! 